Let's go into Exodus chapter 13. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Sanctify unto me all the firstborn, whatsoever openeth the womb among the children of Israel, both of man and of beast, it is mine. And Moses said unto the people, Remember this day in which ye came out from Egypt, out of the house of bondage, for by strength of the hand of the hand the Lord brought you out from this place. There shall no leavened bread be eaten. This day came ye out in the month of Bib, and it shall be when the Lord shall bring thee into the land of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Hevites and the Jebusites which he swear unto thy fathers to give thee a land flowing with milk and honey <clears throat> that thou shalt keep this service in this month seven days thou shalt eat unleavened bread and in the seventh day shall be a feast to the Lord Unleavened bread shall be eaten seven days, and there shall no leavened bread be seen with thee, neither shall there be leaven seen with thee in all thy quarters. And thou shalt shew thy son in that day, saying, This is done because of that which the Lord did unto me when I came forth out of Egypt. And it shall be for a sign unto thee upon thine land, upon thine hand, hand, and for a memorial between thine eyes, that the Lord's law may be in thy mouth. For with a strong hand hath the Lord brought thee out of Egypt. Thou shalt therefore keep this ordinance in His season from year to year. And it shall be when the Lord shall bring thee into the land of the Canaanites, as he swear unto thee and to thy fathers, and shall give it thee, that thou shalt set apart unto the Lord all that openeth the matrix, and every firstling that cometh of a beast which thou hast, the males shall be the Lord's, and Every firstling of an ass shall thou shalt redeem with a lamb, and if thou wilt not redeem it, then thou shalt break his neck, and all the firstborn of man among thy children shalt thou redeem. <clears throat> and it shall be when thy son asketh thee in time to come, saying, What is this? that thou shalt say unto him by strength of the hand by strength of hand the lord brought us out of out from egypt from the house of bondage and it came to pass when pharaoh would hardly let us go that the lord slew all the firstborn in the land of egypt both the firstborn of man and the firstborn of beast Therefore I sacrifice to the Lord all that openeth the matrix, being males, but all the firstborn of my children I redeem. And it shall be for a token upon thine hand, and for frontlets between thine eyes, for by strength of hand the Lord brought us forth out of Egypt. <clears throat> And it came to pass when Pharaoh had let the people go that God led them not through the way of the land of the Philistines although there was although that was near for God said lest peradventure the people repent when they see war and they return to Egypt but God led the people about through the way of the wilderness of the Red Sea and the children of Israel went up, harnessed out of the land of Egypt. And Moses took the bones of Joseph with him, for he had straightly sworn the children of Israel, saying, God will surely visit you, and ye shall carry up 
my bones away hence with you. And they took their journey from Sukkoth and encamped in Etham and the edge of the wilderness. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud to lead them the way and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light to go by day and night. He took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people. So here's my interpretation of it. God declared the firstborn of the children of Israel holy. Moses told the Hebrews to remember this day that the Lord brought the Hebrews out of Israel through the help of a human that no leavened bread shall be eaten. Then Moses said that when they go to, to the outside land from Egypt into one of the Hebrew territories and they keep this quote-unquote service for this month that the Lord will give them a land flowing with milk and honey. Moses told them that for seven days they shall eat unleavened bread and on the seventh day to have a feast dedicated to God. <clears throat> Moses even said that no leavened bread shall be eaten with them in all quarters. I guess that could apply to um, to like uh, um, pantries, closets, storage containers, backpacks or bags or anything they bring along with them, pockets, any quarters where they could have the leaven, they need to get rid of all of it. Perhaps the, the I mean, okay. every firstborn male beast in that season will be of the Lord's I guess that I guess so that the animals can keep multiplying and every firstling of an ass thou shalt redeem <coughs> or in other words compensate redeem means to compensate remember that with a lamb and if thou wilt not redeem it then thou shalt break his neck, and all the firstborn of man among thy children shalt thou redeem, or in other words, compensate. Remember, redeem means compensate. I guess this quote, um, I forgot to quote this, but let me quote it. Quote, unquote, and every firstling of an ass or a donkey thou shalt redeem with a lamb and if thou wilt not redeem it then thou shalt break his neck and all the firstborn of man among thy children shalt thou redeem end of quote i guess this quote is mentioned because other animals don't multiply as fast as sheep so it's better to kill the sheep and save the other animal and feed your family if you can't redeem the animal, then you, you can break its neck and feed it to your children. Because your children should always come first whenever there is food on the table. So give the other animal to your child if you can't kill the lamb. Sorry. God did not lead the Hebrews through the Philistines, although it was near because it was perilous and God did not want them to see war and return to Egypt and start all over again. Um, okay, and this is it. Thank you very much for listening and have a great night.